can you say something? Hello. Okay, cool. Um, hi, Tony. Hello. There you go. Um, yeah, so I made this game um, for a client, and they uh, and it looks like this. Um, it's for beaniemusic.com, and it's for the new video, and the new video is mad, mad balls. Um, so they have this mad balls game that we made for them, and it's full screen here, but it doesn't. Uh, it also works on your phone, and it's a bit like Crossy Road, but with this crazy snail type thing. It's being a bit slow because I've got like audio recording, video recording, video sharing all happening on my seven-year-old laptop, so it's not usually this slow. Um, did, so did you did you play it just the other day then? Uh... Well, I played it when you first sent the link, and then I played it again, like, this evening. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I had, and also the other thing, the, um, I don't know whether you, you did it yourself or found them elsewhere, but the, like, the nice um, chromatic aberration effect thing that you mm. get when you pick up the, the, um, the, the uh, what's it called? Rainbow. Yeah. That looks cool. Yeah, like, um, nice. there's, that was a kind of, like, an effect that, um, there's this, there's like a, a bunch of filters that the guys at Pixie made. Oh, cool! Yeah, so they they've got um, add filter to stuff, and you, one of those those things is like everything. So it basically does the filter to everything. Whoa. But you'll <laughs> notice that for some reason it goes really low res when you do that. Hmm. Um, but because the because it's so like wacky anyway, it doesn't really i mean you, you can tell if you look at it properly but um just some normal person might not like worry about it too much sure yeah, yeah, yeah. um but they also have the... sorry carry on no i was just gonna say i wonder if there's like um i wonder if there's a like a resolution a knob to twiddle with that um shader or whatever because like you know, it's obviously if it's doing some kind of screen effect, it could. I don't know whether it like has some resolution where it's like, oh, actually, I'm going to do like half res or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it does it pretty seamlessly. So I don't know if it does it automatically. Mm -hmm. Like, just goes. This is. No. Yeah. Anyway, no, it's cool. Yeah. Um. I first tried it the the first time I um I tried to use filters on this. I wanted really earnestly to use a tilt shift filter because they mm. they had it and i was like cool i could just use that and that will give me some perspective because um as you can tell the, the models in this game are 3d but it's all 2d sprites sure um and we were originally going to make it so it was kind of um like crossy road is kind of on a uh, kind of an isometric sort of wonk um mm -hmm. but then the artist we were working with um I, I, I want to blame them, but I think it was kind of like partly um, just going to be easier to do it top down like this. And also the artist wasn't really sure what I was asking them to do. You know what I mean? Right. Because um, what I was preparing to do was then to get them to um, uh, make all the, I don't know, uh, some bizarre thing that I was going to get them to do to like so that I could ro rotate them in engine and that there would be higher quality. Um, well, presumably, presumably, you'd need them to basically get the models and put them on like an isometric slant and then render out a series of mm. like sprites for them yeah. moving, I, rotating I, and stuff. I it? think it was worse than that because I, I tried to, I did a test of moving the screen slightly rotated and mm -hmm. um, moving objects and the, the quality was just like really crap for some reason um, mm -hmm. in moving a direction. So what I was going to do is I was going to actually um, put them all on the grid but so they'll be leaning to the left so they like look really bizarrely weird and then turn, right. rotate the whole thing um, 30 degrees, whatever it is. Um, so that then they're correct but so the map is moving downwards but because it's rotated it's also moving down left yeah um and for some reason that seemed like a good idea but 
<laughs> I obviously didn't actually do that in the end, um, which is probably a saving grace. Wow, well, yeah, that, that sounds horrible, Ben. But yeah, okay, fair enough, cool. Yeah. Um, so what I did do is in Pixie.js, so this is Pixie.js, and it's actually all one file, because um, the last game I did was quite a bit more complex and there was lo lots more going on. Mm. Um, so this is actually just one uh, JavaScript file with the utility files, which I kind of created from last time. Mm -hmm. So the utility animation functions and groups and text and stuff. Um, and some of them I didn't actually include in this. I had some more utility classes, uh, not classes. Well, yeah, classes, I guess. Um, so it's just big one file. And it does, there's one, there's, uh, uh, my initial thing that I wanted to talk to you about, which is really weird about this game, yeah. is that it should all be on a grid, right? Mm -hmm. um, because your character moves like one tile essentially every time. Yeah. And I can place all the obstacles on specific tiles. Um, but because of the uh, water and the moving blocks, you can move like off the grid, essentially. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah, so to avoid having to do loads of like snapping stuff, hmm. um, you just kind of aren't on a grid, so, and you just have to deal with that fact. So... You, you should move the same every time and things get placed the same, but you just kind of drift from in the X direction because of this. Oh, right? so there's no, you don't like correct it at all? No. I just, yeah, leave, I just like, leave it as is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess like the, the answer to that is it really depends on what you want the player to see, right? Because mm. like there's no yeah. other, there's no like mathematical reason why one is better than the other but like do you want do you want because what i thought you were going to say is like oh like when you come off i like put you back where you should be yeah um which you could do i suppose and that would be fine but obviously you would have some like the player would see themselves like be snapped to one way or the other um or you make the logs move in a grid wise fashion so that it's you know what I mean? Like you, yeah. you just say, "All right, well, everything moves in a gridwise fashion." Yeah, it's funny because there's there's a really really long video with Jonathan Blow talking about this issue um, with like moving things, and it's <laughs> really really long. <laughs> I'm trying not to swear, um, but it's really funny because it is like non-trivial, like what the solution to that is, um, because you might get like in between steps, and you're like kind of, you're kind of like. Av like not averaging you're like um normalizing the player like because of this weird fact that things can move and you and they're not moving in steps like you're saying like you could yeah have them move instantly to the next step yeah um, are those enemies moving in the grid wise fashion no so in the in the y they are in, because they are like stuck to where they were placed. Sure. But in the X, they are moving whatever they yeah. they like. Uh, another really weird fact about this game is that you get drift. So I, I have n literally no idea how this is happening. But your the the whole map is in one big group, and then the whole group is moved, and that's what makes the movement. Uh -huh. So everything is moving left to right and that's fine but everything that's moving in the y direction is just in one big group and we just move that group itself and not anything individually yeah uh, and that seems to work fine um except for it's i think because it's disconnected from the player so the player is being moved down because it's in that group but it's also moving up you get this really weird drifting happening sometimes where <laughs> At the moment, I'm kind of in that the like the sprite of the character is kind of in that column, right? Yeah. That row, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they can quite easily, after playing it for a little bit, get onto the stones, like get halfway between rows. Huh. And there's no re <laughs> like I don't understand quite how. Um, yeah. I, I can understand how you can get in between 
in the um, X direction because of the the tree. Because of the logs. Yeah, yeah. because of the logs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's really bizarre. So sometimes if you play it for a little bit, it would just get. Uh, so in, yeah, in between, a little bit stuck. That what you said does sound like the right area, at least to be looking at it, right? But the did you say that you basically have... Is the player part of the group that's moving down and up, did you say? Yeah, so the player's part... Like, everything is moving down, except for, like, this little yeah. distance counter and... So you're... So you're, you're... You've got some code that says, hey, you know, next frame, I'm going to move the whole thing down. Yeah. And, and then you've got some other code, which is, oh, I'm the player and I'm going to move up. Yep. So you're changing their offset within that group. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess to a certain extent, without saying anything specific, that sounds very likely to cause that problem, right? Where it's like, oh, have you, you know, in in a frame where it's moving down, but you're also moving up, have you have you successfully calculated the necessary difference? Yeah. Or is it off? You know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, it sounds yeah. like the right yeah, I think there's there's no calculation there happening for sure. Yeah. So I think. This so I mean is, that that makes is... sense, right? Because it's like, oh, well, the player. Yeah. So like the player's now moved up. Yeah. But if the other thing is shifted, or is in the middle of shifting. Yeah. 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 yeah but no, that sounds that sounds, uh, and obviously quite hard to um, to see as you say because you have to play it for a while for it to yeah. to show it. It's weird because. Um, it's not really doing it very much at the moment, but when I was playing it before, it was doing it a lot. So it might be the you know the literal kind of size of the game, or the um, browser, or you know, <laughs> or the yeah. like playing on your phone. Like it's yeah. just like all these different things. Oh wow, that doesn't really scale. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah. Look, so I'm kind, I'm kind of, am I kind of in between already? Yeah. So I think if you do, if you slow down the brown, like your computer a little bit, it gets more, it gets worse basically. Um, it's already downscaled a bit, hasn't it? Wonderful. I mean, it's difficult to tell on a on a screen share. Yeah, yeah. It looks a little bit like worse quality now. That is really interesting. Let's reload. See what happens. Um, yeah, so this this game, like, oh uh, yeah, that so that's is that higher quality? I think so. So this guy game was like a, it was literally like a two or three day job, mm. as opposed to the last one, which was months, right? Yeah. Um, and it was it came with some subtle challenges, and I feel like had I had more time on it, I would have like tackled them and tried to be a bit more gritty and you know polish the edges a bit more and all that sort of stuff mm. I mean it still works on mobile um, which was you know a requirement and the Z index is funny because if you it's based on your height your um, height in the Y respect to everything else yeah so as you move up the screen your go behind stuff which is cool but if you then go back down again, which you can do, you'll you'll be behind it still instead of in front of it. Yeah. Because it do, it doesn't do a double check. It just does. It just presumes that you're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're going up. You're <laughs> never Stop, come back down. Don't get back down. Yeah, that's yeah. the wrong thing. That's the wrong thing. It's a subtle. It's a subtle like in-game hint to the player. <laughs> I, I done it wrong. You're going wrong. Yeah. So if you come back yeah. down here, then and you're you're going behind stuff. That's that's bad. Bad, bad news. Yeah, yeah. So there's loads of like little stuff like that, which like you know mm, could improve, but it also might. No, sure. Be... I mean, like as you say, for the amount of time that you spend there, um, you know, it, it it works, and it's like a game, right? Like yeah. it's, it has a challenge. Yeah. Uh, and um, and obviously, like it's using their artwork and stuff, but I think it's like it looks cool and stuff. Um, so yeah, it seems like. Seems like a bit of a victory in a way because it's like, well, you had some, you'd worked with Pixie, and then you like were able to kind of quickly use that that knowledge to like put it together, you know? Mm, um, yeah. 
I, I do think that that probably, if you were going to spend longer, on it, that's probably the core thing to sort out for all of this is like, how do all of these things move independently of each other? Yeah. Um, do they all move on a grid system or not? And like, yeah, I don't know, like just having a really rock solid foundation for like, these things need, all these things need to move in some way. Yeah. Um, like here's the way that they move. And then it, you know you'd be easy to add in other enemies or like um, you know additional like challenges and stuff. Um, start having you can start having like um, yeah I don't know like different behavior types of platforms like different types of logs and stuff. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, no, it seems cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I I guess I I don't know. Are you pleased with like how? Like how much you put into it in terms of what it is. Yeah, I, I feel like it's it's still a little bit scrappy, so it's kind of I'm really pleased that I guess with what I was able to create in the time, but it's a shame that it's like not awesome, I guess. But sure. then it's a client game and it's and yeah, exactly. and it's like more experience and it's and, and all that sort of jazz as well with knocking things together with Pixie, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, what did you do for? Um, uh, did you use the pixie? I think it has it. The collision thing to detect when it hits enemies, or is it just like bounding boxes or something? Um, yeah. So when you hit enemies, I think I can actually show you that. Um, actually, uh, no. Sorry, it's it's on live, isn't it? Whoops. So I actually put in like a show the bounding box thing because that's something that Phaser has, but for some reason Pixie doesn't do. Mm. Um, but I think it's because Pixie just doesn't have bounding boxes either. Um, it it has like the the rect it's displaying. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't actually like consider that like a. Um, sure. But I guess that's enough. That's enough information for you to do just like simple. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So y you can. So I think all the characters actually have a another um, a load of stuff on them, which I've configured. So um, you can show that bounding box, and then if you want to, each character when I put them on screen, you know, some of them have bigger and smaller boxes to the actual sprite size, for example. Yeah. So you'll notice when you're playing it, you don't just die if it hits into the side or something. Yeah. I think that's that's funny. That's that's such a um, that's such like a that's the sort of thing that no one ever said or no one no one I know is like t taught me or said that. But you totally work that out, right? It's like oh, obviously it this you shouldn't be able to walk into this wall, but actually it feels really unfair when yeah. like the edge of your character touches the edge of this wall. So <laughs> let's like twenty pixels margin on it so that you know you actually go into it before you actually hit it. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 exactly. It felt like when you you just like even just playing the first time, it feels super unfair um, yeah. because you have these really big square boxes which actually are bigger than your sprites, effectively, because you, you your vision of the sprites don't really include exactly. the, the transparency. Uh, you know, it's not a box. So it's not a yeah. box. No. So yeah. So you look, it, it's super unfair all the time. So. This is in the in the code. Like each of the um, characters gets given like a a box, then uh, which I can then use later on. So they've all got, uh, they've all got boxes with like they're carrying around eff effectively, mm -hmm. and then they're just you, you know either you can put them on or you can turn the alpha on off, but they're still there. You know. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so I can just ask, you know, is this object's box touching this object's other box? And then, and that's how the collision works. And really, funnily yeah. enough, the collision example, how you might do that, on when I searched on, on Pixie, was actually wrong. <laughs> so oh. they had they had this um, this uh, procedure um, on their website, and I was like, cool, this is how you do collision if you want. And get the bounds of an object and then you can test mm -hmm. against the other object and that's cool but it was like something stupid like this <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> like, why the hell does this not work no uh, uh, classic and i had to yeah, read yeah. through it like line by line like t uh, yeah. character by character for ages to work out and but 
I, I managed to do a pull request on it and they changed it. But nice. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's like, ah, oh, this is really annoying. Um, but useful because obviously, you know, it wasn't my code originally. But um, yeah, so that's just a generic kind of um, test. But you don't want to do that too often because it kills the. Um, you know, kills performance. Sure. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. So that's like. So presumably, have more like a kind of physics tick, which is like less. Yes. Less than every frame, yes, basically. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I've got. It, that's. I've got two of those actually. I've got a collision test for player going out of bounds, mm -hmm. which happens um, five times a second, uh, apparently written there, and then I've got a collision must test. Must be true. <laughs> it must be true, yeah. Um, and then a collision for objects, which happens five times a second, but slightly offsetted. Uh, okay. Um, so with the with the hope that that would help. Um, so it doesn't happen yeah. every frame, yeah. 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 That makes sense. Um, but I, I had that scaled up and down to see, you know, what felt nice. Yeah. Um, with the collisions, especially not necessarily the bounds ones but with the objects um, and that felt like the nicest because you didn't like hit into something and then wait a little bit and then it goes oh you're dead whatever yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're just waiting you're already dead really but he hasn't told you yet. yeah yeah <laughs> with the um with the uh you talking about there about like oh if you did collisions all the time it'd be expensive and all that stuff yeah with the, like scrolling and that like, are you doing kind of bookkeeping where you like remove things that are no longer on the screen, uh, yeah. or is it just like keep going? Yeah, yeah. So that's um, one of the main things I guess I do is that um, these are quite chunky tiles, right? Yeah. Um, so as these are going off screen, they're getting deleted. Like the road will get deleted and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and then as the objects hit. Um, so there's a check for, um, I think there's another collision sort of check, like another tick, which happens so many times a, a second as well, which just checks for, um, I don't know if I did it like that or I did it a different way. Um, I think it's I think it's speed, so it's attached to the amount of Y direction the whole group's been moved in, and if it goes over a certain amount, it removes like all the objects... So it has to check all the objects to see if the the Y is um, less than or greater than a certain amount, and then it adds yeah. the other tiles on top, and then also adds objects to them. Um, yeah, so that's how it does that. And for a while, it was creeping up. So as you're going, as things were going, like it was really annoying. Um, as the things were moving down. The amount uh, of things getting deleted was creeping up, so eventually all the th the screen was deleted, <laughs> 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 which was <laughs> really annoying. Um, That's to, amazing to find that issue. It was just kind of like, like you know, slight time variations not getting added. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like this. Um, yeah. So for a while, if you played it for like over a minute, your screen would start deleting itself. Nice. Um, Again, like t perfectly valid level. Just stick it in. <laughs> oh, you weren't fast enough. Well, yeah, the level just gets deleted if you're not fast enough. Oh well, yeah, right. there's no game. The game stops. It deletes it itself. Yeah. Well, this is you're a lot so of bad at this game. It's deleted itself in shame. This this just shows you how random random is. It's a lot of code <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> oh dear. So much road. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm I'm excited about doing another game. I'm I'm thinking about maybe going back to um, that card game I did when I first looked at Pixie and maybe doing some.